whenever anybody requests me to do a video I leave it in my like notepad on my phone I'll write it down and just keep it in a folder and the amount of video requests I have for how to ask your parents for a Twitter how to ask your parents to show your face on YouTube how to ask your parents for your Instagram to be public is insane so we're gonna dive into just one of those today hi guys welcome back to my channel I hope you're having a great day today I'm coming at you guys with a <laughs> it hit my face Today I'm coming at you guys with a video talking all about how to have your parents allow you to show your face on YouTube, how to ask your parents to let you show your face. Whenever I post any of those videos talking about how to ask your parents to start a YouTube channel, people always say they won't let me show my face. So wow, that's fun. So I think it's just something that I should address and talk about. I feel like I have answered it in the comments of those videos before, but I don't honestly remember what I said because I didn't like go and reread my answers. So this is gonna be kind of more raw and just talking it through, seeing what I can come up with and hopefully help you guys. But I do wanna just start off by saying, if your parents say no, like that's, I can't help you out any further. You know what I mean? Like if you do what I say in this video and like try to use these tips and implement them in your own life and they're just like, huh, no way. like. That's, I can't help you out any further, which really stings, I wish I could, but genuinely, like, there's nothing I can do, I'm 19 years old on YouTube, you know what I mean? Like, that's all I got for you, so I can't help necessarily, but you can definitely, like, still leave me your questions and say, like, hey, I did this, but this happened instead, like, what do you think? But sometimes, like, people will comment and just be like, they said no, and I'll give a suggestion or something, and then they're just like, they won't let me. Like then they won't and like that stinks and that's hard and it's not what you want obviously but sometimes some parents are just like no no way so that's just what I want to say like as a disclaimer I guess sometimes these tips just won't work and that's what makes everybody different sometimes it's just not gonna work out so that's what I wanted to say and preface this video with but now let's just jump on into the actual video and hopefully some helpful tips for you I think the biggest thing is you go to your parents you you know have watched one of my videos before talking about how to ask your parents so you do those tips you you know just ask them you show them a sample video you do whatever and they say okay but you can't show your face so what do you do I guess is the whole point of this video so what I would say is think about like the kind of videos you want to make now if you want to make something like a slime video or um, I don't know some people do like toy reviews or that kind of stuff like where you necessarily don't even have the camera on your face Don't make it like don't keep pushing for it even if you don't need to like if you want to do makeup or Like comedy I guess like some kind of comedy you would need to show your face But if you want to do like art videos and like sketching videos or something like that Like you don't even need to show your face before you even approach them I would think about the kinds of videos you would want to make and clearly I'm assuming you probably have because you know You want to make a channel so I'm assuming you know what you want it to be about But I would say when you go to your parents, I would bring up the kind of channel like hey mom dad whoever I want to do videos about makeup on my channel and see what they say because if you just say I want to make YouTube videos It's so broad and abstract and I feel like with parents Especially like in my own experience and my friends experiences and just in general I feel like the more specific you can be about something really helps your parents helps your guardian whoever like I said It just helps them be like okay like this like these are all the facts And it's very important to like kind of lay that out for them compared to just being like hey I want to do this because if your parents are difficult or strict or whatever you want to say I feel like the more information you give them the less of an opportunity you give them to be like oh well this is wrong or like oh like I don't know what you're gonna do here because I'm not gonna let that happen or something I don't know I can't explain it but basically if you don't let them see any like holes or gaps in your story in your proposal situation your question I guess it would really help so know what kind of videos you want to make now like i said you probably already do they are like a sit down video where you have to like talk to the camera and show your face obviously you can't just be like okay i won't show my face because imagine me sitting here talking to you guys for this entire video but like this hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're having an incredible day today i'm coming at you guys with a video talking all about how to ask your parents to let you show your face on youtube did you like that? Not that well. It wasn't that great, was it? Think about how you can make them feel comfortable is pretty much, I guess, like the whole point of this video. Make them feel comfortable about it. So in saying that, 
you can do test videos to show them hey this is it like this is not anything that's going to be scandalous or that's gonna be like possible for me to get bullied on or whatever I mean like internet hate is inevitable so you can't go into making videos thinking I'm never gonna be hated on because smaller channels either can be a huge target for hate I feel like or you don't get a lot thankfully for me at this given moment I don't get too much on my more popular videos I definitely do like my story time videos I do get a lot of hate but it doesn't affect me so I feel like if you are going into making videos and you're afraid it's gonna affect you and all that stuff just like keep in mind that it doesn't matter what they say but that's kind of like I guess a different video we've already talked about some of that stuff so I guess now like moving forward and all of that if you tell your parents I want to make makeup videos we're just gonna use that as an example throughout this entire video so you want to make makeup videos they say no way you could say okay well like what do you think I could do in order for this to happen like what is what are you afraid of? Like compared to freaking out, be like, okay, why can't I show my face? What is wrong with that? Um, you could even say I'll use a fake name so that way the face and the name don't match up if someone, you know, searching for you, which literally doesn't happen. Like, I mean, it does obviously, like there are some horror stories and situations like that, but if you're safe, like if you don't give out addresses and last names and all this stuff, like you're gonna be okay. And I feel like if you, maybe use a different name or only go by a username like right now my username is all i go by on youtube i might change it eventually but you know so i feel like that's also a thing that you could do is just make sure that you know your face name age all that stuff aren't lined up in a row for someone it's a little bit more abstract i feel like that could also help but if you want to do something like a singing video like you want to post singing videos online for that, you don't need your face. Like, I mean, obviously people normally do, but you don't need to. You could just, you know, do, I don't know, cool effects, I guess. You could take your camera outside and like film nature and have like all this stuff go as your music is playing in the background. Random things like that. Like, if your parents are like, you can make videos, you definitely can, just not your face. Find a way to make that work for whatever your situation is. Now, like I said, if it's a makeup thing, maybe you could just focus on doing like makeup collections and like product reviews by like swatching the products on your arms and only doing like this like obviously not this part but like just like maybe on a table like you'll just swatch products and all that stuff talk about how they blend stuff like that like you can find loopholes and maybe the more your parents see like hey this is okay this is safe they're enjoying it whatever and it's not going that badly you could maybe say can I post like one or two videos of my face or like maybe once a week I can film one face video or whatever you want to call it you know like you could eventually work your way up maybe and you can even ask them when you initially ask them about videos you could say I know you said I can't show my face right now but do you think at all in the future if you see how this is going for me do you think that there's a possibility eventually I could you know when I'm 15 or when I'm I don't know however old but yeah like those are pretty much my tips now like I said some parents are hard some parents it's just gonna be a flat no no matter what you say or do so this is pretty much for those parents that might let you do something um, a little bit more than just like a flat out no you can't ever have a channel and you know, you know what I mean because that sticks and that's hard like I said if they say no you always can wait until you're 18 which I always leave that in the comments if someone is like literally there's nothing I can do I just say when you're 18 like you could um, so just keep that in mind it's like if you're 12 13 or something like that like keep that in mind in a few years you will legally be able to start a channel on your own um, which is awesome so don't give up like it's not necessarily the end of the world there are so many youtubers that have started in their late teens their 20s and they're doing great things so it doesn't mean that like if you start YouTube late like nothing's ever gonna happen for you no one's ever gonna watch you like all that stuff like doesn't mean that at all and even if you start super early you know the success or fame or views or subscriber count like whatever like that's not even guaranteed it's never gu guaranteed but just keep that in mind the age certainly doesn't matter when you start it's the person that matters like underneath it all like underneath the channel that matters um, that's what holds a channel together. It doesn't matter their age. It matters who they are and what they're doing, what they're talking about, how they're talking about it. So keep that in mind too. Like age is not everything on YouTube. It's literally barely anything actually. So 
if you feel like you know all these youtubers started young and look where they are now like I need to start young in order to like work my way up like you don't need to and also if you just want to do it you know because you're in school and you just want to have like a fun hobby or like things like that like don't give up because eventually it's gonna happen for you eventually you can make videos no matter if you're 37 or 17 like it'll happen eventually so stay strong stay positive and if you really truly do want it so so badly like a lot of you do um, then don't give up and that like flame that is in you and that desire to make videos and all that stuff won't dwindle. In fact, it'll probably ignite even more because you have so many more ideas. And I would say actually like throughout the years, if your parents, you know, if you've talked to them about literally everything, by the way, I have so many videos talking about how to ask your parents for a blank on my channel, so check all those out. But um, yeah, if they say no and it just, it really won't happen, just start writing your ideas down because I feel like the more you can like write your ideas down if you're just like I have this great new challenge idea no one's ever done it before like makeup wise or even not makeup wise they have other challenges on YouTube you could write those down so then if eventually they'll say yes or eventually you just start doing it because you're an adult or whatever like you'll have those ideas and you'll still have like the passion that you had like when you were younger so like I said don't give up it's okay it will happen for you no matter what age you one day will be able to do it so I hope this was helpful for you guys let me know in a comment below your situation how it's going if any of my videos have ever helped you please let me know that means so much to me I love getting those comments because I know how it feels like to not know if you can have a channel and then not be able to get one for a while so then when people come and they said that they said yes and all this stuff like I get so excited for you guys um I remember how that feels so yeah um I love you guys so so I love you guys so so much I hope this video helped you guys like I said and thank you so much for watching please be sure to subscribe comment thumbs up and all that jazz and I will see you guys in the next video Bye -bye.